So, Hawaii. I went to Maui. Maui is one of the islands, the second largest island. Um, let's see. Any information about Maui that's kind of useful for the story? No, it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Everything about it is perfect. Wow. Like, I got there, and I was, like, shocked. I got off the plane, and it was a long plane ride. You know, the first leg of the plane ride for the, the trip um, was um, two hours, and that got us to Texas. Was the water clear as, like... Crystal clear. Really? Absolutely crystal clear. You could see tw- uh, uh, sea turtles from uh, the balcony... Like at the uh, we stayed at like a oh, like a wow. hotel, not like a resort, because that's just too much money. We like really did it cheap. We we did very cheap, but um, still spend way too much money. But you know that's a hey, yo yolo. You know, <laughs> I'm assuming with all the drinks involved, the food, you know, the a the lot souvenirs. of souvenirs. I actually didn't drink as much as I thought I would. Did you yeah. get any souvenirs? Oh, I'm wearing one of them right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm wearing a shirt. You, you got shack a doodle do. I don't a know what it means, but. Of a, a rooster? A yes, I think Shaka You went to Hawaii slang. and got a chicken like in the in the shape of a of a pineapple. Well, it has a uh, pineapple. Oh yeah, it has a pineapple body. I didn't well, even realize that. What does that oh, have to do with Hawaii? Well, there no there are wild chickens and roosters in Hawaii like crazy. There are more uh, chickens. Pineapple's the number one crop. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's called Maui it's not gold. Coconuts? Wow, no. you guys don't watch oh. Moana. It's I did. There. I I did <laughs> see Moana and I, I loved that sh- movie. Great Did movie. you watch it over there? No, to get the, I almost um, got a tattoo of the, of the uh of the I got the hook, the hook that he, uh, what's his name has? Maui? Maui? Yeah, yeah. What? Maui? That's his name, Maui. Oh, his name's Maui? Yeah. Wow. Get I out. Zach has you a can get out. <laughs> <laughs> you can get out. Yeah, so I, I love that a, movie. And yeah. The fact he has what's a tattoo the and he doesn't even know what it is. Exactly. No, what? no he no. doesn't know the name of the character who has the hook. Oh. You didn't get the tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't get the tattoo. Oh, my no, bad, I got my like bad. a little necklace with the uh with the hook on it and then I almost got a tattoo like the way that he has all those tattoos. Do you have a tattoo, Zach? Not yet. I want to get a tattoo. Yeah, you don't look like a tattoo guy. You know how you could tell someone's a tattoo guy? I could. No, uh, he's you're not a tattoo guy. You're a very like <laughs> very straight guy? edge. Just boring. not tattoo guy. You're That's all I can say. I want to get like a tattoo like on my bottom lip, like on the inside you're, of my lip. My friend wow. has that. Yeah, my friend crazy. has that too. That's yeah. so crazy. So anyway, about Hawaii. Oh yes, I mean, digressing. I mean, let's yeah, go. I'm, 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 <laughs> digressing. too much tangents, right? So, uh, so we, I get there, you know. Oh, so the second leg of the pl- plane ride was eight hours. Mm-hmm. This plane was gorgeous. It was giant, three rows no. or three separate areas. Did you get Beautiful. to sleep on the plane like a bed? No, oh, no, I didn't, I didn't actually sleep. What? Oh, it was fully full. Yeah, it was, it was wow. full. Yeah, I mean the seat next to me wasn't full, but like it's still yeah, like, the seats weren't like, big enough to like here. you know lay down. Yeah, damn, that sucks. Um, I thought yeah. that they would have like beds in there. But I was having a great time. Like me and Kara was so excited that we were just like bouncing like, around on the yeah, plane. Yeah, Probably like, caused turbulence of your own in there, just, yeah. just like jumping around like beans. Yeah. No, unfortunately, no, no, no. Unfortunately, we did not join the Mile High Club. Huh. But uh, but we did get a little freaky on different areas in Maui. Hey, I'll get yo. into that a little bit later. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, so diggy girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew when I saw Jess was going to be here. I'm like, oh, good. Someone I know would enjoy that conversation. Oh, yeah. So I'll keep that, keep that uh, ready to go. It's but um, me, you know, Jamie, I, and Mike are just like, oh no, <laughs> not again. <laughs> I need an adult. Uh, Wait, you mean <laughs> I'm the adult? Oh crap! <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway, so we get there and we get a jeep. We get one of the jeep wranglers, every, like every other basic white person. Oh, like there. a rental so, car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, you know. nice. Yeah, we take the top off and we start driving and let me tell you maui is literally like a dream like it is it, like i am shocked that place i've been there i was there for two weeks and i'm shocked that a place like that even exists on this planet Do it you is have photos gorgeous i have so many photos but i'm not Better. gonna sh- oh you want me to show you right now no, i just want i honestly just like yeah. i'm i think it's just so hard to process what he's talking about just because it's like i mean this is an hard. audio show not a visual so do you, show do you yeah, yeah, recommend know, yeah. it as a honeymoon yeah. I'll show, oh absolutely i reckon um, i, I want to move down there i'll show you the photos after the show because it'd be kind of a waste to just start going through photos on an on, a, on a, an audio show but I, i'll open them and i'll just start like you know going through them like you know reminiscing yeah that's a great point um so uh, basically you, yes Big word indeed. Thank you. Word of the day, reminiscing. Couldn't tell you what it means, but it means something along the lines of looking back, reminiscing. <laughs> All right. Um, so we started with the Jeep, and we just started driving around. The first day, we were just driving around. It was absolutely gorgeous. Like, everything about it is just unreal. Like, there's just... I, 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 words cannot explain. If you ever get the chance to go, go. Do not hesitate. Just go. Maui. But was it expensive? Yeah, like- it was. It was. But you can... You can it was expensive because we did so much and we were there for so long. Like, if you could go there for a week and, you know, there's, there's ways to make it, like... Uh, Last? Yeah. Like, the two of us together, we spent probably close to... 
Um, like just shy of ten grand total. Oh yeah. Wow. Wait, per person or in total? No, no total, total, oh total. Oh, for yeah. Hawaii, that's normal for yeah. two weeks we, in yeah, for, Hawaii. For two weeks, we also did so, so, so much. I would hope so. Yeah. Spending that kind of money, dude. Yeah. Thinking about that type of money being spent in like yeah. two well, weeks that, is making me want to throw up. That was the first time wedding. ever. That's what? a quarter of my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time ever I, I've ever spent a like a lot of money on something ever because I've always had college loans and debt and things like that. I pay them all off like a Champ. beginning of the summer, I guess, and nice. then I'm like, yo, like I'm just just saving money. Let me like let me do something before I have a kid or something, you know. And she was the exact same way. She's like, I just want to do something before like I have to be serious with life, and I'm like. First, we were going to go on a 30-day road trip around the United States. That would be oh, sick, too, but that's, that's a lot cool. of time. That's a lot of time and a lot more money, we found mm-hmm. out. We were doing like the finances behind it. It was like 10000 each. So we cut that quick. Um, so then we, we went to Hawaii, and we both sp- was, you know, spent a little over four grand. That's a little, little less than five grand each. And it was, it was wor- I think it was worth it. I think because that was something that I can never... Like, Get again. Nothing could ever be compared to that. Yeah. That's not so good. we did a whole bunch of different things. So like, first, the biggest thing they say you got to do is the road to Hana. Road to Hana is a twenty, I think a tw- well, it's really forty-two miles, but there's a twenty-six mile stretch of that trip that it's like you have to drive ten miles an hour. You know, you're on the edge of a cliff. It's like very dangerous. Like oh, you know, sad. on a giant mountain, you're driving on the side of. It's like rainforest all around, so you don't see anything. It's that's like, pretty cool, though. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. They, like you could stop along like these different stops, just like on the side of the road, and there's watering holes, like you know, beautiful waterfalls to take pictures of. Um, there was one time like we just jumped off a cliff when cliff jumping into like uh, this watering hole. Like other people were doing it before us, so we were like, all right, so it's safe, you know. I'm not, I'm, I'm too paranoid to just jump off the side of a cliff, and hopefully there's no rocks in the bottom, you know, because I'd be the lucky sap who who jumps and never walks again. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I know. Can you indeed. imagine Kara goes, look, <laughs> yeah. look, look over that cliff, and she just like she just accidentally shoves you. Ooh, there was sorry. one time. There was one time she almost did that, but that was an accident. Um, and uh-huh. then, so then on the road to Hana, it took us about four hours to get to the actual city of Hana, which is like, it's like really hard to get there because of that. Um, we got there, we got there at around four o'clock and then we had to turn back around. We had to go the exact same way back those 46 miles. And, uh, they tell you don't leave the city of Hana after four o'clock. So we're, we, you know, and we just didn't care. So we were like, is it oh, because okay. it's so dark and you can't see? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Because it's so dark, it's so dangerous on the ride back. So naturally, we didn't listen to anyone because we're dumb, and um, we left at around five. Average. And it started pouring. It was what me being dumb. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it started absolutely pouring, and we're driving in the pitch black or windy roads, going like five miles an hour. It took us three hours nonstop driving to just go twenty miles. It was. It was. It sucked. But um, but it was also awesome too. So then we did that. So that was like one of the big things that they tell you to do. And uh, then we were like, all right. So we got that off the list. We got that done. Next, we went glass bottom kayaking, or yeah, it was like kayaking, but with a glass bottom boat. Yeah, which was that's sick. absolutely absolutely sick, that's absolutely. <laughs> and then they bring you to like a little coral area, like a little reef, and then oh. they say like, all right, get out of your boats, and then start snorkeling. So we started snorkeling. Dude, that's so. Awesome. It was absolutely awesome, beautiful. I could be there all day, all oh day. It was my. absolutely beautiful. Did you get to touch the fishies? No, they tell you try not to touch them. If they touch you, no big deal. But they said do not touch the sea turtles, and I'm like, why? Why, you know, why not? And they're like, well, because like you carry bacteria on your hands, and sometimes oh, like, the if they, oils and stuff. yeah, like if they eat it, then they die, and like, or there's a chance they die, but like there's no, you know, we don't want to risk it, so don't touch them. Don't touch sea turtles, Jessica. But so Jessica, yeah, but no. No. Gnarly, dude. No. <laughs> Give me I some fun. <laughs> and I don't know about I don't know about you. Like they say like the sea turtles are going extinct, but there were so many sea turtles at Maui, like just just so many. There it were, like, looks so many, almost. but it really isn't. Yeah. That's yo, how, it usually how is. sick would it be if they were like, yo, get on that sea turtle and ride it? Oh around. my god. That would be so cool. Uh, there was a picture of me and Kara scuba diving because we did scuba diving like way later. And um and um and there's just this beautiful turtle just like swimming in between us and the, the tour guide took a picture of us. Beautiful picture. I have it. I'll show you guys later. Yes, please. Yeah, and again, scuba diving, same thing with snorkeling. We did scuba diving a little bit later in the trip. Which one's scarier? Definitely scuba diving. Okay. Like scuba it's diving, deeper. you know, you have the you have the tank on your back, you're breathing through a tube. And at, like the first when I first got down there, I was about ten feet below the water, I was just sitting in the sand and I'm like 
if I need, if I like freak out, like I can't take this mask off, like I'll die. You know, I can't just do it. Like, you know, you have to like do everything perfect. Like, you know, and you can't just you run calm. up to the surface. Right, right. And, but then once you start like doing it, like it just becomes nothing. Like it's no big deal. Um, there was one girl on our trip though, scuba diving. She chickened out. She's like, I can't do this. Yeah. This is too I, much. I would be that girl. I but can't. she paid so I much money. Swim. And then, oh, well, I guess. Well, no, you don't really need to know how to swim because yeah, you have. Yeah, but it's scary. What if, what if like something wrong happens and I just sink? You you can't. It's physically impossible. To sink? Yeah. It's physically impossible to sink because you have to like like do it yourself. You have to like intentionally go down. If anything, oh. you just start raising up. Really? Yeah, you have to keep going down. You're naturally you buoyant. Right. If you take a deep breath, like you'll just start <laughs> raising up. Yeah. How do you take a deep breath on the water? Well, like, you have the oxygen the tank oxygen. on your oh, on your oh, back, oh, oh, or the okay, the okay, air okay. tank since it's like okay. actual regular air. It's not one hundred percent. Dude, that's oxygen. insane. Yeah, no, it was it was beautiful that's and so like scary just just too. that seems cool. Seeing all like it's just so peaceful down there. It's just so the like, kayaking sounds like a really cool idea. Too. It was. It was. Did you guys do canoing awesome. too? No, we didn't do What's canoing. What's the difference? But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kayaking is like you stand right, and no, then no, no, two different kind of boats. So kayaking is a usually one person. Uh, but boat. it's the same like yeah, motion, like, right? Kinda. So yeah. canoes are like Aren't they wider? No, they're no. like the longer. They're longer and they can hold up to four people. Okay. Yeah. I and could then, just like, see Shane and I on a canoe. Usually you need one person in the front <laughs> and in the back of the canoe. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then like they alternate sides on rowing. You only have one oar. You have one sided oar. The kayak has like a double oar. Yeah. yeah. They yeah, kinda yeah, like, like that. turn oh, yeah. side to side type yeah, of I did that once in my life. I did the one that only has one side. Like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, then canoeing. Uh, so that's canoeing. canoeing. Yeah. Okay. I could yeah. just see Shane and I just like, getting into fights about who's rowing the right way. Who's <laughs> well, more like I? Like I'm, you go faster. No, you. Yeah, it's more me. <laughs> that's yeah, me what too. Happens when you canoe with somebody. <laughs> Usually, if you're canoeing with somebody, or the guy in the back is like, "You gotta go faster." Nope, go to the right. Go to the left. Mm-hmm. Left. I yeah. can't keep up. My arms. <laughs> oh, I hate teamwork. I noticed uh, that. I love teamwork. I just noticed. <gasps> I hate teamwork. I, I can't do teamwork. it. I can't do it. I, I love teamwork. I'll be too. like, "Move out of my way. I'm canoeing alone. Well, that was <laughs> like, swim your way back." That was like when I was kayaking, like, I was like, wow, I'm getting really tired. I was in the front, and I was like, wow, I'm getting really tired. And I'm like, are you getting tired? And she was just, like, laying back, like, doing nothing. And I'm like, ah, that's why. Yeah. (laughs) But that's, you know, I got what I wanted. What were you going to say, Jamie, when you started talking? Oh, no, I was just saying that that's why I love the... uh the part where someone else in the front can do all the work because mm, then you mm. could do some minimal effort. You could lay like, there. You could yeah. do literally what I just said. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Then what else did we do? We uh, we um, <laughs> we went surfing. We learned how to surf. We took surf lessons, which was absolutely amazing. Wow. I think I might pick that up now. Surfing was phenomenal. Uh, let's you did see. a lot of things for two weeks. Yeah, wow. yeah. I, I haven't even Very broken festive. the seal yet. I have so many more things to say, but wow. I'll, I'll try to be quick. Also, during the glass bottom boat tour um, or the glass bottom kayak, tour um we were t- I was talking to our um um, um uh, tour guide. guide i guess yeah and i was like oh like do you guys ever see any sharks and he's like oh never we never see sharks like you know i guess because sharks are um uh, nocturnal so and then um, as we were paddling our boats i just heard this ominous music dun 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 Dun, yeah, dun, it is dun, crazy dun, because dun, sharks dun, dun, dun. do actually make that music. It's oh, pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, no, no I'm just kidding. I was like, yeah, no way. No. They have a boombox yeah. attached to their tail. So anytime they're around <laughs> humans, I believe Zach. <laughs> I believe Zach so easily. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, like, a couple weeks <laughs> before us, he did say that um, a lady, like a lady in another group, came up to him and is like, "Hey, I just saw a shark. Like, should I be worried?" And he's like, "Nah, nah, they're all reef sharks." Like. You know, they're, uh, what was it, like uh, like six feet, you know, black tips on the, the fans. Yep. And she's like, no, no, it was a little bit bigger. It was like 12 feet and it had like stripes on the back. And he's like, oh my God, that's a tiger shark. We got to get out of here right now. Like, so then they, they had to cut the tour short. But um, yeah, <laughs> wow. tiger sharks are very dangerous. Very. Um, very all right. Impressive. What else did we do? We went to the aquarium, which is cool. We learned about some history and things like that. Uh, you know, saw a lot of sea turtles. It was very hard to not touch them. Like, you know, just restrain yourself from touching right? the sea turtles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We went on a very, very long hike. So they have the volcano on the island, you know, the volcano that goes, I think, 11,000 feet above sea elevation. Okay. Um, so, like, when you're up there, like, you know, you feel it. You're fe- like, uh, you know, you're, you're like, what is that? That's almost two miles in the sky. In the sky. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, we walked up. We, I'm sorry. We drove up. Because it was so such a long drive, it was like an hour drive, and then we hiked it down, but not all the way down. We only hiked um, uh, three thousand feet down, which took us about it was about mm, a ten mile hike, and I, I was like, I was exhausted. I oh. feel like that's like 
the worst thing to do is hike down and then climb. Yeah, back it up. is. It is. Oh. Like it's the worst thing to do to go down first because that's the easy part. Going down, like any yeah. inclination, is easy. Going back up. Mm-mm. Yeah. Also, Wait, since that's leg day right there. <laughs> also, since you're so high up, they say like, oh, bring a sweatshirt, bring sweatpants, you know, bring jeans or something because right. it is frigid up there. Yeah. So we're like, ah, it can't be that bad. It's 87 down here. It can't be that bad. We get up there, it is freezing. <laughs> so we both become suckers and we go to the gift shop and buy 75 dollars sweatshirts each. Of course. So yeah. that really got us good. And then, uh, and then at night it got down to like forty something degrees. It was freezing outside. Wow! But we did stay for the sunset. It was beautiful from the top. Wow! Absolutely gorgeous. Um, uh, the hike again was absolutely beautiful. The inside of the mountain, because the the volcano two hundred fifty years ago exploded the top of the mountain off. So it's like a like a like a like a crater it's type. It's like a giant crater, yeah, on the top. It's pretty interesting. And the inside of the crater looks like Mars. I was no. gonna say, like, what does it? Have you gone to see any volcanoes? But there it is. Yeah, yeah. We didn't get to see like into you the volcanoes because they're dormant. Volcano. Yeah, yeah. But like the rocks were like red. Yeah, there was, there was no vegetation, dormant. nothing. Like it was just all. Well, actually, on Big Island, the the volcano is still active. Yes. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I want to see that. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. Well, I have pictures. I'll show you. Um, yes, I'm so excited. So, <laughs> so uh, we did that. Uh, what else did we do? Well, you know, we watched the sunset, went scuba diving, great. We saw all this crazy stuff. Um, halfway through the trip, we gave back the Jeep, and then we rented mopeds instead. So we were, like, just zipping around on mopeds. It was awesome. Uh, That's awesome. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Um, oh, also, like, that reminded me. Like, I was, I'm now looking for a motorcycle license. Is there, isn't there like something through NCC that we can you do? You go right outside during the week and yeah. they get a and sign up. They for still class. do it. Yeah. yeah they oh, still do it. oh my! I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so you guys yeah, will see the, me out there you very see them soon. Every morning when you leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. I thought it. I, I thought it was just. Oh, during you summer. haven't been here. You were in Hawaii. Yeah, sorry, I was. I was busy. Forgot. I didn't see. I'm sorry. Okay. I forgot about it. You know, guys right. spending five so. grand out there. Sorry. Yeah. I was like, I forgot about y'all mm-hmm. peasants. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, and then, uh, well, you guys aren't peasants, but oh, and then um, <laughs> middle class. Sorry. Yeah, ga- a gallon. A gas was. Can you guess how expensive gas was there? Oh, gas was five dollars. Five dollars at least. At least you're right. Yeah, it was five dollars and thirty eight cents on average some places were five dollars and seventy something cents no wonder yeah. like that probably ripped your wallet as oh well oh my god we spent so much money on gas so yeah, yeah, and up and down on the, on the mountains and then through yeah and we dri- yeah a lot too. of driving yeah yeah yeah. Especially a Jeep, because Jeeps aren't yeah, that great Jeep, on gas yeah, either. Yeah, Jeeps suck on gas. Yeah. What was it, 18 miles to the gallon usually? Not even 13 on a Jeep? Something it's like that? I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, it's, it's something ridiculous I like mean, that. It's like my, yeah, my truck gets like 15 miles a gallon. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, digressing. We uh, All right, so uh, what else do we do? Um, all right, so food trucks. Food trucks are like everything in Hawaii. There's no restaurants. All food trucks. Oh, that's really? Food trucks, all delicious. I love it. All that. very, very, very expensive, though. Like, for for like six ribs, it's like $35. What? Yeah, and then there's no sides. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't so even... Dude, you might as well eat your own ribs at that uh, rate. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, actually... Just... That being said, yeah, let me just start cutting them out. Yeah, like Co- Coach Malone right broke his ribs. There. He doesn't <laughs> need them anymore. <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't need my last two ribs. I'm, I'm going to get them out so I can... Uh, yeah, let's not get into that. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, All right. Not from Aaron Manson. I bite them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that being said, speaking of ribs, on the road to Hana, we came across this really scary looking just Rope setup, bench. I guess. Oh, I don't know. Setup. Just like, I don't even know what it was. It looked like a little just place to sit. And we were both hungry, but we both had to go to the bathroom. So we stop. And it's like a little stand. And uh, there's like these two white guys who look like they haven't showered in months, in years. They months to years. Yeah, okay. no, no, like years. Like they, they didn't have teeth or one of them didn't have teeth. The other one's teeth were like disgusting. Um, but let me tell you, that was the best rack of ribs I think I've ever had in my entire life. I thought I was going to die when I first started walking up there because I'm like, oh my God, like, like we're in the middle of the, the jungle, essentially, like on the side of a mountain. And like no one else is around except for like these two people, and there's like a couple other like uh, like uh, natives, I guess. And I'm like, you know, me and Carol woke up and we're like, uh, you guys sell anything here? And they're like, yeah, we sell. Like, this guy barely spoke English too, and like English was his only language. He's like, yeah, we uh, we cook ribs and chicken on that grill over there. It was like this big grill, and we're like, oh, um, okay. He's <laughs> like, yeah, twenty five dollars for a plate, worth it, absolutely worth it. It was enough for two people. 
Dang. Oh my God, best meal I've ever had in my entire life. So if you ever go on the road to Hana in Maui, Hawaii, stop by uh, just some random, it doesn't have a name, just some random place on the side of the road. Delicious. That's so fishy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Literally yeah, fishy. Like, yeah. Someone's, uh, Someone's going to go and do this and they're going to go They're going to go on the road to Hana and, and just not come back. And just not come yeah. back. Because <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Zach's advice. <laughs> Inspired by Zach Schneider. Mm, yeah, uh, They could have been human meat for all I know. I don't know. Now yeah, I, have I was going to tell you, you don't even yeah. know what they're cooking. I have no idea. He said it was pork, but I mean, and also pigs and chicken run rampant on that island oh my god rampant. i was gonna ask you um did you touch pigs in the water no like, no they no, don't they, go in the water they didn't have it on that island they have it that Ooh. on Kauai. Aww. Yeah, yeah i know i know i know but like the chickens like you know how it's we a have chain of islands <laughs> they're right next to each other <laughs> i am not geographically <laughs> inclined yeah good map good good very good Thank word you. of the day inclined word of the week inclined um, wow, we um were just i thought it was reminiscent our vocabulary in today yes we yeah. are so let me uh, let me uh, try to wrap this up. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Um, you mm. loved your trip. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, but uh, what was your but, favorite part? Come on, let's do Dora style. Mm. What was your favorite part? What was my favorite part? Oh, hola. Oh, okay. Well, what did they say? Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> aloha. Yeah, aloha. 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 And um, aloha. I'm Dora. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Hawaiian version. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Do you guys want to hear a really gross story that happened? Yes. No. Yeah. Sure. Go <laughs> for it. All right. Three yeses and one nose. All right. We'll do this. So we had a chocolate tour factory, and Ooh. we had. Oh the, yay! Mm, yeah. Oh, it was like like Hershey Park. No. Kind no. of. <laughs> but they. I was going to say more like Willy Wonka, but okay. Yeah, more like Willy Wonka. Yes. I thought it was a different kind yeah. of chocolate factory. My bad. Ooh, baby, how we doing? No, not yeah. like that. No, that's gross. Yeah. I thought it was like yeah. yeah. Uh, not the hey, how you uh, doing? Uh, not the, you no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, um, <laughs> so, so we thought it was a very good idea. Like, oh, where we, you know, we drive our mopeds there. We're like, oh, let's take. Uh, can I talk about? That? We took <laughs> gummies that made us inebriated. Hey I'll say that. Oh wow, that's um, a big word. Inebriated, inebriated. Yes. inebriated. Wow, I don't so, know where Zach is getting this new vocabulary. He's now from. liberated as well. Liberated. <laughs> yeah, wait. Just, oh, like, I get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. legal here in, yeah. in New York, yeah. but yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um. So uh. So we did that beforehand, and I took just a quarter because they're very strong, and she, Kara, took a half. And we get halfway through the tour, and it gets very, you know, I'm having a great time. I'm loving the chocolate I'm eating. Best chocolate I've ever had in my entire life. She looks like she's seen a ghost. Like, she's going to be Mm-mm. sick. Uh-uh. Oh, so, no. so we're sitting there, and, then, you know, the tour basically is over. We have to take, a, like, a big van back, but it's on a dirt road, so it's, like, all shaking back and forth. And oh, don't tell she me. She starts getting, you could tell, like, she didn't say anything, but, like, she puts her head down, puts her hand over her mouth, and then, like, like, I could just tell, like, she's, like, looking sick, so I just start rubbing her back, and, like, you know, I'm, like, talking to the, the tour guide, like, trying to, like, divert the attention away from Kara. So we get back, we sit outside in front of a table in front, I order a milkshake, we're just kind of chilling, I'm like, oh, we'll chill here for, like, an hour, you know, just hang out until you feel better. She's like, I, uh, I, uh, I don't feel so good. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right, you know, we can just sit here, no big deal. She gets up, walks around the corner, and I just start hearing water splashing on the ground. Oh. And uh, she just got horribly sick. So, and that was the last time she will ever, ever take gummies like that. So, be careful, boys well, and you girls. You learned a lesson. Yes, you learn a take lesson. Gummies yes, yes, from you do. My adults. best woman learned a hard lesson about that on uh, at the bachelor party. So, on our last oh. night there. So she has a story like that too. Or, or you do? I'm sorry. Worse. Um, so, the so my friend Rob bought a whole case of them, right? A whole little thing of them. And uh, split them up with with four of us. So it's the four of us all taking some. But like, two of us are used to it. So me and my friend Casey are used to that kind of stuff. So um, we took five gummies each. No problem. Rob took five. He was feeling a little funny. Five. Amy never does. She took five. No. And... <laughs> She thought she heard Darth Vader in her bathroom. Oh, that night. And I was oh, like, no, sweetie, we're listening. Listen. We're watching Obi Wan Kenobi on Disney Plus. That's why you hear Darth <laughs> Great Vader. Great show. Great show. Like, yeah. That's why you hear Darth Vader. <laughs> He's not in your bathroom. It's okay. You're fine. That's pretty funny. That's oh, man. Wild. That's horrible. I always hear so many people have horrible stories with that. Anyway, so finishing up my story, we uh, basically, just to end it up, we, um, we also went horseback riding, which I love horseback riding oh, so much. I've become like that a horse fun. girl at the age of 26. Zach did everything. <laughs> yeah. 
and I also, I also got my first pedicure. Hey, look at you. Yes. I would never let so anyone to touch my feet. No, no, I, I didn't get them painted. They just like, Aww. you know, they just like cleaned me up and gave me a little foot massage. Okay. You know. I don't that's, like this dance you're doing better. with it. I really, wanted, I really rocks, wanted some you know, Stop yeah. it. I don't like this dance. <laughs> that's literally him. Hey, yeah. sisters. <laughs> hey, girls. How you doing? Let's go <laughs> get our feet done, our toes done. I don't like it. Yes. yes. And then also, I wanted to bring up before that um, we, uh, we uh, did the nasty in so many areas. Okay. Right? No. Oh, man. No. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 